Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hey, welcome to Uncle Tim's farm. I'm Uncle Tim, and I got a quick story to tell you. So the other day I fed the pigs, and then I was getting ready to head back to the house, and I heard this voice inside my head. You know, it wasn't audible, but a, basically a prompting that said, hey, you need to go check the fence. So that's what I did. I started walking the fence, walking along here, and everything looked fine. And I just was about to turn back, and that voice said, nope, keep going. So I kept going, and pretty soon I could... I could see the fence all the way around and we'd had some wind and thought, well maybe something's falling on it well I got to looking and nothing and falling on this pig fence it's all in good shape and again I was gonna turn around and head back to the house because I could see the whole fence all the way around the pond down there but that voice said keep going so I could Kept on going, all the way to the corner. All right, here's the corner. I got to the corner and I looked down the fence line. There was no trees or anything on it, nothing. The fence is all clear, going down the hill. And I was just about to head back to the house and that voice said, keep looking. I'm like, what? Well, I don't know if you can see the T-posts down there. That's my property line there. And there's an electric fence that runs along there. So I got to look in at the fence. And sure enough, this tree had blown over. And it's sitting on the fence there. Got the fence not pushed all the way to the ground but it's got it sagged down there pretty good but anyhow this big old tree fell on the fence and if I hadn't listened to that voice telling me to keep going and keep looking I never would have seen it and some of you might wonder well what voice is that that's just you know intuition or something like that but it's actually the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit was talking to me, and it's not like this was any big life-changing thing, but this happens quite often. I'll be out doing something and hear a voice telling me, hey, you need to take a drive around the property or go walk the fence or go, go do something here or there. And every time, there's a reason why I, that voice was talking to me. And like I said, this is not some big life-changing spiritual thing that happened that this tree fell on the fence. But it's just an example of listening. Listen for that still small voice and you'll hear it. And God is with us in even the smallest daily tasks like taking care of our animals, taking care of our fences, taking care of our property. He wants to help us, and so we need to be sure to listen. Anyhow, just thought I would share that with you, and hopefully it encourages you to pay attention, listen for that still small voice. All right, well, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.